welcome to Newsline TV. My name is Grace and this is Wazesha Biashara Show. In our previous episode, we looked at how to diversify your various sources of income so that you can expedite your process of becoming financially free. Today, we still go back to wealth multiplication and we want to look at an interesting aspect of wealth multiplication, which is using debt. Again, we are privileged to have Lucy Njine in studio. Karibu Lucy. And Lucy, we have been talking about you know, becoming wealthy and preserving this wealth. So how do you use debt so that you can expedite your process of becoming financially free? Okay, thank you, Grace. The subject of debt is very interesting, Grace, because um, in this nation of Kenya, we all know how to use debt. We like borrowing money. That is why everywhere you turn, there's somebody willing to give you money, to lend you money. But unfortunately, when we borrow that money, we use money to borrow for survival, to borrow for consumer items. But uh, we want to say in this um, episode that you can make use of debt to fast track your wealth multiplication journey. And one of the simplest places to start with debt is when you think about borrowing from a circle. We said when we started talking about investing that one of the places to invest is in a circle. Now, when you invest, you put your money in a circle, you're trying to kill two birds with one stone. One of the birds that you're killing is that you're investing. The circle will lend that money to people. Those people will pay the, back the money with interest and that interest will be paid to you as, an, as, um, as interest that you're earning out of your investment. The second bird that you want to kill is that you can now use the, um, uh, your savings in the circle to borrow against that and, and take a loan. When you take that loan, that is now what you take to go and do something else. For example, most circles will give you three times your saving after six months. Like for example, if you put 1,000, 1,000 for six months, you can go to the same circle and get 6,000 6, times 3, that is 18,000. As long as you have someone who can guarantee you when you have taken the loan. And now you can take that money and go either invest in a business, you can go and build your own house, you can go and build rental houses, you can go and pay for education, you can do a lot of things that of course will give you extra sources of income. What we are trying to discourage is don't take that loan to go and buy a TV. Don't take that loan to go and buy clothes. We are saying if you have saved money in a circle and now you've gotten to that point where you want to borrow, borrow to go and invest in a business that will start giving you income. Or go and invest in building your own house so that the amount of money that you have been paying rent then is, is taken and invested elsewhere. That is how it becomes a wealth multiplication tool. And it is not limited to just circle loans. You can even for borrow from banks if you know that you have the ability to pay. And where you're going to put that money when you borrow it is in a place where it is whatever you do with it is going to start giving you income or has the potential to give you income tomorrow or the day after, then it is advisable for you to use debt. So one of the things that uh, we know is that uh, on one hand we love debt very much as, yes. as Kenyans. Yes. On the other hand, it's one of those things everybody wants to avoid. Yes. But for some reason we cannot avoid it. Mainly because there is what we call good debt and, and bad good debt. debt. And bad debt. Yes, and let's talk about that. Bad debt is when you take a loan to go and buy consumer, what we call consumer items. And a consumer item is anything that you buy and it, you're not investing that money. That thing will never give you any income. If anything, it will just depreciate. Like for example, when you take a loan to buy a TV today, if you, want to, to buy, if you buy that TV today at 50,000, one year down the line you want to sell that TV, definitely you cannot sell it at 50,000. So that is what we are calling bad debt. But a good debt is one that when you, when you take it, number one, you are able to service the loan comfortably without straining. Number two, whatever it is that you have done with the money you borrowed has the potential to give you money either immediately or in the future. Like for example, if you take that loan and you go and build your own house, you start living in your own house, then it means you have saved the money that you are paying as, as rent 
to a landlord. So that is how that is the difference between good debt and a bad debt. All right. Now there's uh, this debt that uh, we all like, uh, insurance and uh, the KCB loans and you know all these other Airtel this money loans. Yes. Uh, mobile money loans. Yes, mobile I money doubt, loans. except for the mamambogas, the people who take those loans in the morning, you take a loan of say five, ten thousand, you go and buy vegetables, you go and sell and pay the loan in the evening. Those are the only people I think who make economic use of those loans. The rest of us, we borrow that money for lunch, we borrow that money for airtime bundles, airtime, whatever, there's nothing we really do with it. And the interest on those loans is very, very high. First of all, you're given only one month to pay that loan. And the interest for that one month is either 7 or 10%. They are just there for emergencies, like a real emergency has happened. But it should not be your regular place where you run to every time you think about a loan. All right. Debt is very interesting. It can work for you if you use it properly. It can work against you, on the other hand, yes. if you do not understand how to manage it. And we are encouraging you to make sure that you find the most effective place to get debt and learn how to manage it so that at the end of the day, you're able to become financially free. We are encouraging you to become financially free. Stay with us on Newslight TV on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Lucy is also available to help you become fin financially free in this journey. You do not have to be alone. Navea Capital is available. Just reach them on the numbers available on your screen and call Lucy so that she can help you become financially free. Until next time, when we go deeper into another form or another method of wealth multiplication, stay with us and God bless you. <laughs>